the Turkish president accused Russia of failing to fulfill its obligations in Syria. Recep Tayyip Erdogan said that the reason for the military operation in Syria is the failure of the Russian side to fulfill its obligations from 2019, noting that now Turkey will act independently, without any restrictions. We also have an agreement with the Russian side in Sochi in 2019. Russia is responsible for clearing the region of terrorists. Unfortunately, although we repeatedly reminded them of this, they did not and do not. We said that we would not be silent and would take steps against the terrorists there if they could not do it themselves. Now there are no restrictions. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said. Such serious accusations against Russia raise concern about the alleged allied relations between Ankara and Moscow, because contrary to the words of the Turkish leader, the Russian military had an almost constant co-presence in northern Syria, negotiated with Kurdish leaders, and also patrolled the region, including cooperation with the Turkish military. Due to the Turkish attack on the northern part of Syria, there is currently a very high risk that Ankara will try to occupy the region. Turkish aircraft bombed the positions of the Kurds near the Russian military airbase in northern Syria. Tonight, Turkish military aviation, according to Turkish information resources, launched a series of airstrikes that were completely uncoordinated with the Russian side. Several such strikes hit the area of the Syrian clan Kamishli, where the Russian military base is located. According to the Turkish information resource Clash Report, the strike was carried out using a drone, however, given that there were several explosions, it is likely that Turkish military aircraft were actually working. On the video frames, you can see the consequences of the strike on Kamishli. The exact strike area has not yet been named, however, given the area of the region, Turkey took risks for the Russian military, which had previously been constantly present in this region of Syria. At the moment, it is known that as a result of the Turkish attack, the headquarters of the Kurdish formations was destroyed, however, among other things, there are victims and casualties among civilians, which indicates that Turkish aircraft are bombing the northern part of Syria, regardless of the risks to civilian population.